Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today we have a video that is one of my most exciting videos, I feel like. And it is also a video that a lot of you have asked about, um, <laughs> seeing it in the background of like uh, previous videos and whatnot. Hey, is that the Kill Team board? Did you finish the Kill Team board? Yo, if that's Kill Team board, it looks kind of cool. Um, well, yes, <laughs> this was the Kill Team board. I did finish it. Um, actually, I want to say I finished the foundation of it, not necessarily finish it entirely. I still have to paint my buildings, uh, give it a story, give it some lore, you know, things like that. But the premise is there and I'm pretty, pretty satisfied with how it turned out, especially it being my first ever like board that you, you know, DIY board or things like that. I've, I've never done that before. So I had to do research, learn about uh, terrain things like terrain uh, textures and then also what glue works the best, what doesn't work the best, what is mosh posh, all this stuff I had to figure out. Um, but I was able to figure it out, of course, over time. And I made a ton of mistakes along the way, which is which is fine, especially when you're starting things out, it's okay. And uh, you know, to some of you, it might look like absolute crap. And you know, that's fine, that's fine, that's understandable. That makes a lot of sense because I didn't really know what I was doing when I was doing it. I just knew that I wanted to make my own board and that's it, I knew I played Kill Team and I knew how it needed to be set up. That way there was no like direct line of sight, you know, from one spawn to the next. Um, and I think I accomplished that. Now, I did watch a lot of videos from Zorpa Zorp, uh, Nerd Forge, Eric's Hobby Shop, I believe that's what it's called. Um, I watched videos on all of their stuff and I was like, dude, that's amazing. I gotta figure out how to do that. And uh, I still didn't know how to do it, <laughs> even at the end. Went out, bought some things, got some uh, some tools and equipment and stuff like that. And I was able to make it work, man. Um, the only sucky part is that I put so much like adhesive and Mod Podge and like glue and stuff because I didn't know what was gonna actually make it stick or not stick that it ended up being like just soaked for days, days almost. So I just let it sit for weeks, you know, weeks and weeks and weeks. And I think doing so, cause, cause uh, some things to like dry out, I guess, which is totally fine. So I have some touch ups to do with like a little white spots. I can put um, some, for example, I can put like some more like brown, like spray paint or something like that for like the ground and stuff. I can put that in different areas, which is, which is just fine. But one thing that I am happy about is exactly how I position every building. So there's no area that is technically a, um, like, oh, this is a spot that you will just be fine with. No, necessarily, that, that, that's not that's not true. And that's what I wanted to go with, uh, with having a preset kill scene board. I didn't want one side to have an advantage over the other or anything like that. So, yeah, and then depending on how the mission is, whether it is uh, going this way for the deployment zones or horizontal for the deployment zones, there isn't a spot that is uh, more so like see-through than the other. Now, as far as color schemes, when I do get to that point, um, since I do enjoy the Sisters of Battle quite a lot, as well as the Grey Knights, my two favorite factions out of the whole Warhammer universe as of right now, and um, I'm thinking the building should reflect that. I'm thinking we should have some gray, some red, uh, a little bit of black, maybe even some white, um, definitely some silver, um, and a little bit of gold, man. I think I think it's it's gonna look pretty pretty cool, but. For this being my first board, I think it's great. I have a lot of verticality, not much, but you can go up, get advantage for concealment. Um, anybody that's you know concealed on the ground, you have a vantage point so you can take them out if you try. Whoever claims the building can see directly across to each other, which is great. So like this uh, heavy gunner can see that heavy gunner, for example, and they can just start shooting at each other, go like that, or um, this right was actually like a terrible like position, but it was just for an example. The leader for the Sisters of Battle, for example, is here. And let's say I get a lucky roll, kill her, you know, one shot or whatever. That would be absolutely insane. But yeah, I wanted it to be like that to where you have options, you know. Like for example, this um this battle sister right here, she can come into the so you can vault over, you'll be in here, and now you have, you know, cover exponentially a lot of cover so yeah so she would have a lot of cover um and then you know maybe not even get a line of sight drawn to her from this great knight um definitely not any other great knight because they can't even see her but yeah those type of things is what i wanted to incorporate when i made this board and i'm pretty again i'm pretty satisfied with how it came out um here are my dice they are the bloody rose um sisters of battle dice of course and then i also like making these little dice box 
which are just, you know, like a box from um, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something like that. And I paint them and everything like that. I know you can go online and order dice box, but I typically like to make my own because I get to put in a custom color scheme. When you have your own custom color scheme, I mean, very straightforward. I mean, you can make it personal to yourself. So yeah, um, what do you guys think about the board? I mean, it's my first board. Again, I keep saying that because I know some of you are gonna be like, dude, that looks like crap. But I'm still very, very pleased with how it came out, especially for being my first board. Again, that's probably like the seventh time I'm gonna say that. But anyway, yes, what do you guys think? Uh, I'm sorry that it took so long to actually show you, but there is still a lot of work that I have to do to get the board to exactly where I wanna be. But so far, I'm very satisfied with the foundation. And uh, yeah, if you guys like the color scheme idea that I'm going with, silver, red, black-ish, um, let me know. Or if you have any suggestions, let me know. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Um, I thought it was pretty cool to actually put it all together and show you guys. And uh, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will see you all in the next one.